One of the biggest beginner mistakes that absolutely demolished my user experience on a Mac was not using virtual desktop. I know this is such an obvious one, but so many people aren't doing it. And if you open all of your apps like this, then you move into mission control and everything looks like this, you're not doing it right too. You see, I think of a virtual desktop as just like a separate free monitor for my MacBook. It's in no way attached or related to any other one so I can just open any apps in one of my monitors and guess what? They don't show up in the other one. It's free real estate. So how is this useful? Well, think about how many unrelated things you do with your computer every day. Maybe it's work, watching YouTube, working on your side hustle, doing homework, or playing games. When done in a single space, all of these activities interwine with each other. And so how would your unconscious brain know which one you want to focus on when you sit down and so it just gets confused if i try to do productive work whilst also watching a video the procrastination spiral sets in and that's why creating different spaces for work leisure and school is a great idea what's even better is making them different in some way for example with different wallpapers now when i sit down and look at my work desktop my brain will know subconsciously to switch on the work mode and forget the youtube mode so by the end of this video, you'll not only learn how to destroy your Mac experience, but at the very end, I'll also share a few killer resources that'll help you master this operating system. The second mistake that new Mac users make is simply not customizing their Mac to fit their specific needs. This mistake is often made by just not knowing what's actually out there and what's possible. So here are three things that I would definitely customize. Settings appearance and apps. In settings, I can change my display zoom amount, my cursor appearance, add new keyboard shortcuts for specific applications, customize spotlight search, set up hot corners, disable notification, change trackpad speed, and so many more little things that make my life easier. When it comes to aesthetics, changing the wallpaper is the first thing that comes to mind. Then my dock. I can make it disappear, add spacers, change the zoom amount, and more. Then change folder icons, customize my finder, use dark mode, and that's just scratching the surface. These little changes add up and soon I realize that I have a system that's personalized for me. Thirdly, apps. There are so, so many custom apps for Mac and frankly without them, the OS is not good enough. From hiding my menu icons to taking better screenshots, temporary file storage, overhauling the spotlight search, making my external mouse awesome, there's so much, but don't get overwhelmed. The best part is that I've got separate videos for each of these little things, settings, and applications, and I'll try to link all of them in the description so you can dive deeper into macOS after finishing this one. Moving over to the third mistake that kills the experience, and it's shutting down your Mac. Just stop shutting it down. A Mac is designed to be opened anywhere, anytime, and getting straight back to the thing that you were doing before. Apple has this computer configured so well to hibernate itself that shutting down is completely unnecessary and even worse than just closing the lid. You see, shutting down drains more battery because the OS has to completely quit and then reopen every single application from start, which costs resources. Whereas when I just close the lid, all the apps stay open but go into a temporary state of sleep and they're much easier to wake up than to restart from scratch. This brings me to the fourth mistake, which is not charging properly. You probably know that batteries degrade over time. Even though your max battery is extremely efficient, it'll inevitably worsen over time. But there are two things that you can do to slow that process down. Number one, don't charge it above 80%. And number two, don't drain your battery below 20%. It's that simple. Pull out your charger when the battery isn't fully charged and plug it in when it's not fully drained and you'll have a much much better battery health. Now I've mentioned mission control
control in the beginning and this brings me to the fifth and most rudimentary mistake which is not using keyboard shortcuts and trackpad gestures. You see Macs have been designed with tons of hidden functionality for those who seek it. Of course the OS does the basic functions just fine without having to learn any tips and tricks but it's just sad how much you lose out when you don't know them. Some people don't even use the function row for search, mission control and audio adjustment. It's crazy. If that's you, you're missing out on the biggest secret to using macOS efficiently. The good news is that I've already prepared and combined all the exclusive Mac secrets into one single place for you and without it, you'll never be able to get the most out of macOS. It's all right here in this video.